Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh and Ben Farmer. And we are in Des Moines, Iowa. Why are we in Iowa? Oh, hey, that's why. But more importantly, the reason we're talking to you right now is that we have a major announcement. And it's not just uh, to make a point, but to actually get something done. However, I will start by making the point. Ben is from Texas. Hurricane Harvey is happening. We can't let this be just another complete government failure of the people. Obviously, there's a chance for everyone to step up and be a part of the relief efforts. So that's what we're doing to organize here. You don't have to wait for a stateless society to find stateless solutions to problems that the state really should have nothing to do with making them worse. So Ben is from Texas. We got a lot of Freedom fans in Texas. We got a lot of members of the Freedom family in Texas, and the family is coming together to look out for people and to do some really good work. So Ben, you got some more details. We got a couple crews going into the Houston area. Who do we have? And yeah, that's what's right. Happening? So uh, we have two teams that are now two teams going into the Houston area, one from North Texas and Oklahoma City. They're going to be going in on Saturday. They're led by Amber Mack and Will Cagle. Uh, so if you want to get involved with that crew, if you're along the I-35 corridor, get in touch with Amber Mack or Will Cagle. We'll go ahead and post them. They're probably going to be in this comment stream, so uh, hopefully they, they show up in the comments. If not, we will post their information uh, in the comments as well. We have a second team coming from West Texas. Uh, they are led by Caleb Leverett. The notorious dad. The notorious D-A-D, Caleb Leverett, who will also be in this uh, comment section. If not, we will post his information there. I can tell you exactly what the plan is, too, uh, especially with Caleb. Caleb will be at the Home Depot in Odessa starting Friday between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And he will be parked there. He will be accepting any donations that come in. So if you're in the West Texas area, either Midland, Odessa, Lubbock, even Abilene, anywhere around there, Caleb will be in Odessa uh, at the Home Depot there from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Friday accepting donations to fill up his uh, trailer. And then he will head to San Antonio, where on Saturday he will be at one of the Home Depots there. And I didn't get the exact, the exact one, but Caleb can fill you in on exactly which Home Depot he will be at uh, for most of the day on Saturday in San Antonio. Uh, the other crew, Team One, led by Amber Mack and Will Cagle, we are taking donations for them through thefreedomline.com and specifically thefreedom.fun. We got it linked directly up here. This is our nonprofit 501c3, so you do this. It is a tax deduction for you. We are actually taking money away from the state by accepting donations this way, reducing your tax liability. And of course, any in-kind contributions, time, effort, supplies, materials, whatever, that uh, that you contribute to our efforts, we can give you tax receipts for those as well, so you get the deduction from those. And we're just really excited to be supporting these teams right now. So if you donate, and uh, I mean basically anything that comes in right now, but anything, especially if you earmark it, go to the Freedom Fund. Whatever you put in there, we'll notice. It's not hard to figure it out. It will go to supporting these teams. The main thing is to get gas for Caleb at least, and uh, for the other team as well. Yeah, if, guess if we can if we can cover their gas costs, it means that there's more money to go for supplies and food and drinking water. Right, and I did just see that Caleb Leverett just tagged in. So if you All want right. to reach out to him, he is there, and Caleb can tell you exactly which Home Depots he's going to be at on Friday in Odessa and Saturday in San Antonio. So we estimate it's going to be about thirty-five hundred dollars, something like that, to get both of these trailers stocked and gassed and down into the Houston area. Uh, actually, Caleb's going to go to the Port Aransas area, and uh, about $3,500 is what we estimate. We'll keep uh, good tabs on that, and any donations that come in over what we end up needing for these two teams, we will send them to the Liberty Coalition for Disaster Relief. This is the group we've been working in, with and coordinating. So, If you're not already, hook up with them on Facebook. What's the name of it again, it's Ben? It's the Liberty Coalition for Disaster Relief. And Jonathan Magno wants to know, is there a PayPal option? Yes, there is a PayPal option through the Freedom.Fund. Jason Hope, he's broke and lives in Waco. Can someone from Waco join in on this effort? Ben? Yeah, absolutely. And if you just want to reach out to either Amber Mack or Will Cagle, I'm sure they can clue you in how to get involved along that I-35 corridor. All right, let's just go through and make sure we don't have any uh, logistics questions we're missing here because this is uh, something we, we're, we're really just 
helping uh, you know coordinate people who are trying to do good work and uh, help out with this disaster relief. So Patrick J. Hawkins, don't worry, we're going to be wrapping this up in a minute so you can start from the beginning if you want. Jason Hope, Texas represent. Mm -hmm. Robert Fran is you can do it. Hook 'em Horns from Barry Snyder. Ricky Austin, Ben is from Texas. You, yeah, you, couldn't, I'm from you Texas. couldn't tell. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so some questions about donating. It's all through the Freedom Dot Fund above, and you can see how that that there we have our you know legal documentation for being a, a 501c3 government approved nonprofit. Uh, Cassandra Bert Vinny says hi. Sorry about your home state, Ben. Yes, Ben. Any final thoughts before we wrap this up? Yeah, it's it's very important that that we go in and and, and do things for the the citizens of along that ghost, Gulf Coast region. Uh, you know, I've seen these memes going around saying, "Hey, is everyone going to be cool with socialism helping us out in this hurricane?" And I know it's it's just ridiculous. What we've seen already is people helping people, and we want to make sure that that continues to be the way of things. This is looking like it's going to be a lot worse than Hurricane Katrina. A lot more people live in this area, and we just want to make sure that that, that we're there to help our fellow people out. You want to help spread freedom, spread love. Do it by being awesome to everyone, every chance you get, especially with people in need. So there it is. Get involved one, one way or another. Thank you very much, and thank you, Ben, and everybody else who's helping make this happen. Peace, love, and screw the government.